What makes Resident Evil 5 stand out in the series? Could it be the new location or perhaps the introduction of a new partner character? In the heart of Africa, in the fictional region of Kijuju, the story of Resident Evil 5 unfolds. This isn't your typical setting for a survival horror game. We're not lurking in the shadowy halls of a haunted mansion or navigating the eerie, deserted streets of a small town. Instead, we're thrown into a sun-drenched, bustling market teeming with life. But beneath the surface, a sinister force is at work. Enter Chris Redfield, a seasoned veteran no stranger to bioweapon threats. He's part of the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance, a global initiative to combat the growing threat of bioterrorism. This mission, however, is personal for Chris. He's haunted by his past, by losses that cut deep. His resolve is tested but unbroken. At his side is Sheva Alomar, a local BSAA agent. She's tough, resourceful, and dedicated to protecting her homeland from the bioweapon threat. A newcomer to the series, Sheva brings a fresh perspective and proves herself a formidable ally. Together, Chris and Sheva form a partnership built on trust and shared determination. Not long after their arrival in Kijuju, they encounter the first signs of the bioorganic weapon outbreak. The local villagers, once vibrant and full of life, have been transformed into mindless, violent creatures by a new strain of the Las Plagas parasite. And the mastermind behind it all, a man named Ricardo Irving, an arms dealer with a sickening grin and a penchant for chaos. Irving's role in this bioweapon nightmare is just the tip of the iceberg. His connections run deep, hinting at a larger, more ominous organization pulling the strings. But who are they? What is their endgame? The answers to these questions form the backbone of this gripping tale. As it turns out, Irving isn't the only one pulling the strings here. Our heroes face their first major challenge in a public assembly. The figure orchestrating the chaos, Ricardo Irving, an arms dealer with a sinister agenda, stands before them. The confrontation is tense, the air thick with anticipation. Irving, with a maniacal grin, reveals his true nature, injecting himself with a potent virus. His transformation is nothing short of horrifying, his humanity lost as he morphs into a grotesque creature of the night. The ensuing battle is fierce, a testament to the grit and determination of our heroes, Chris Redfield and Shiva Alomar. They manage to subdue the monstrous Irving, yet in the chaos they fail to secure a sample of the virus, a crucial piece in understanding this new breed of bioweapon. The encounter leaves them with more questions than answers. One thing is certain though, but Irving was merely a puppet in a far larger scheme. As Chris and Shiva delve deeper, they uncover more disturbing truths. Our intrepid duo's journey leads them into the heart of the marshlands, a place teeming with mystery and danger. It's here that they encounter a new breed of terror, mutated creatures unlike anything they've faced before. These abominations are the result of the Las Plagas parasite, a chilling revelation that ties this new threat to the bioterror incidents of the past. The marshlands are also where Chris and Shiva start to unravel the true extent of the conspiracy. They uncover the involvement of a shadowy organization, Tricell. This unearths a chilling reality. The bioweapons aren't a random act of terror, but a calculated move by an entity with vast resources and a hidden agenda. Tricell's involvement in the proliferation of these bioweapons is a sinister twist, one that only deepens the mystery surrounding the events in Kijuju. Yet among the dark revelations and monstrous threats, a glimmer of hope emerges. Chris and Shaver find evidence that Jill Valentine, Chris's former partner thought to be lost, is still alive. This discovery is a beacon of light in the grim reality of their mission. Jill's survival adds a personal stake for Chris, rekindling his determination to put an end to the nightmare. But this ray of hope is quickly clouded by a shocking truth. Jill isn't just alive, she's under the control of Albert Wesker, a man now transformed into a superhuman by a previous viral infection. Wesker's escape leaves Chris and Shiva with a daunting task. Rescue Jill from Tricell's clutches and stop Wesker's plans. The Marshlands chapter is a crucible that tests our hero's resolve, unveiling the true scale of the bioweapon threat and the forces behind it. The intertwining threads of personal stakes, sinister conspiracies and monstrous threats create a complex tapestry that keeps us on the edge of our seats. And so the stage is set for a reunion no one saw coming. As the mystery unravels, the stakes rise. 
setting the scene for a confrontation that could change everything. The journey of Chris and Shiva is far from over, and as they press on, we can't help but brace ourselves for what's to come. In the depths of the mines, Chris and Shiva come face to face with their greatest adversary. Our heroes find themselves in a labyrinth of hollowed out tunnels and caverns, the air thick with tension. Their journey has led them here to the heart of an extensive mining operation. And it is here in the bowels of the earth that they encounter the mastermind of the horrific events they've been fighting against. Albert Wesker. Wesker, a figure from their past, stands before them, radiating a chilling aura of menace. His transformation is astounding, his abilities magnified to superhuman levels due to a previous viral infection. His strength, speed and agility are beyond human comprehension, making him a formidable adversary. But it's not just his physical prowess that poses a threat. It's his plan, his vision for a new world order. Wesker reveals his terrible scheme to unleash Euroboros, a devastating virus with the capability to wipe out all organisms deemed weak. This virus, born out of manipulation and experimentation, is his tool to reshape life on Earth, to remake the world in his own twisted image. The stakes couldn't be any higher. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance, and Chris and Shiva are the only ones standing between Wesker and the realization of his monstrous plan. The showdown is inevitable. The battle that ensues is fierce and relentless. Chris and Shiva, armed with their determination and courage, take on Wesker in a desperate struggle. They fight not just for their own survival, but for the future of the world. The struggle brings them to a volcanic area, a fiery, hellish landscape that mirrors the intensity of their fight. Wesker, fueled by his malevolent vision, is a formidable foe. But our heroes are not deterred. They manage to inject Wesker with a serum that weakens him, turning the tide of the battle in their favor. As the fight reaches its climax, there's a heartbreaking turn of events. Jill Valentine, Chris's former partner, sacrifices herself to save Chris and Sheva, falling into the fiery lava below. It's a moment of profound loss, a stark reminder of the cost of their fight against bioterrorism. Yet even in the face of loss, Chris and Sheva press on. They manage to defeat Wesker, putting an end to his plans. They escape the facility just in time as it self-destructs, burying the terror of Euroboros under tons of molten rock and ash. In a world forever changed by bioterror, sacrifices are inevitable. And so they emerge victorious, but not without scars. They carry with them the memory of their fallen comrade, a haunting reminder of the price they've paid. They've won the battle, but the war against bioterrorism rages on. In the aftermath of the struggle, Chris reflects on the persistent threat of bioterrorism. In the quiet that follows the storm, we find our heroes Chris Redfield and Shiva Alamar standing on the precipice of a new dawn. The fiery battle against Wesker had come to a crescendo in the volcanic landscape. A fitting backdrop for a fight that was as much about survival as it was about the future of humanity. Chris and Shiva had managed to inject Wesker with a serum that weakened him, a last-ditch effort in their desperate struggle. But it was Jill Valentine, Chris's former partner, who made the ultimate sacrifice. In a heartbreaking moment that would forever be etched in Chris's memory, Jill plunged into the molten lava, ensuring the safety of her comrades and the end of Wesker's reign of terror. But even as the ashes of the past settled, the specter of bioterrorism continued to loom large. Kijuju, once a vibrant region in Africa, was now a scarred landscape a chilling reminder of the horrors that had unfolded. As the region began to recover from the bioweapon outbreak, the echoes of the past still resonated. A constant reminder of the sacrifices that had been made and the battles that had been fought. In the quiet moments that followed, Chris found himself reflecting on the journey. Each step had been a fight against an unseen enemy, each victory a testament to the indomitable human spirit. But the fight was far from over. As long as the threat of bioterrorism remained, there would always be a need for heroes like Chris and Shiva, ready to step into the breach and face the darkness head on. As the game drew to a close, a mysterious figure was seen observing Chris and Shiva from a distance. A new challenge, perhaps, or an old enemy in a new guise. The future remained uncertain, but one thing was clear. The fight was far from over. 
For now, the world is safe, but the fight against bioterrorism is far from over.